What is up guys, it's Tom with the SS Motion back here today and today we're taking a look at another Call of Duty Mega Block set. So today we're taking a look at the Call of Duty Collector's Construction Sets Claw Assault and it's set number 06855 and it's for ages 12 and up and includes 212 pieces and the retail price is approximately 19.99 here in the UK. So before we take a look at the claw itself, let's take a look at the two figures included. So both figures are unnamed, but we have a very nice maskless face on this figure. Taking a look here, you can see really, really nicely painted. A lot sharper paint applications than the earlier wave, and that is something which is really nice. And you can see that this figure does come with a variety of accessories. The instruction manual tells you to put some on, and the rest I've put on myself, but all the accessories you see on both figures are included within the set. So we have a green slash grey concussion grenade, a tan ammo pouch, a silver weapon magazine, a silver pouch, and the beautiful laptop piece. We'll give you a quick look at the inside of that again. Give that a minute to focus for you guys if it's going to. There you go, the laptop. And the figure comes wearing a black leg strap. Give that a minute to focus for you guys. Is it going to focus? There we go. And a black tactical vest. And he includes a shotgun style weapon, which comes with an alternative LMG clip, although I've decided to leave the normal clip in there. So that is the first figure. And the second figure we get comes with the awesome new RPG. Taking a look at that RPG, you can see some really nice paintwork and the fact that the figure holds it nicely. And it just generally is a very nice accessory to have. It's accurately proportioned and it just looks really, really nice. And it even features a removable rocket head. We'll give you a separate look at that. As you can see allowing it to look as if the weapon itself has been fired and you get several more rocket heads included in the set so that aside we can see that the figure comes with a grey tactical vest grey leg strap a black pistol which with some force applied can be put on the leg strap and a green backpack Give that a minute to focus. Where I have placed a silver water canteen, a silver flashlight, and a silver radio. So that is the second figure in the set, and he definitely comes with some awesome accessories. Moving the figures and the claw to the side for one minute, we're going to take a look at the care package included. We have the black and orange style from the Black Ops 2 video game. Looks very nice, a lot of texture work on it as always. And here we can see the rest of the accessories included. So we have a pair of silver binoculars. A silver claymore anti-personnel mine. A grey square designed ammo box, a silver entrenching tool, and three of the spare rocket heads. And they all fit nicely inside the care package and are interchangeable with the other accessories. And as you can see, when shut, they don't go out, which is perfect. So moving on to the claw itself, and I have done a bit of research prior to this review because the claw is one aspect of the Black Ops 2 franchise I'm not entirely sure on. The claw itself is a cognitive land assault weapon and is an unmanned vehicle which is used as a weapon within Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and it is used by both the Navy SEAL forces within the game, so that's David Mason, Harper, that style side of it, but it also appears used by Cortis Deer, 
who are the enemy faction within the game throughout. Now the claw itself is very accurate to the source material, I really like it. Giving you a look at it here. From the side. From the front. From the other side. And from the rear. And we don't get many features with this vehicle, but what we do get is quite nice. We've got a turret here, mini gun on top, which can rotate as such and elevate. A grenade launcher mount here. Various great details on top, which look very nice and add to the texture. Several joints of articulation within the legs. There's not really much articulation, but there's enough to get some decent walking type poses. And the main real feature of this is that it opens up in the back, providing you with some storage space where you can store different accessories. So there's not really much to this vehicle. It has a few nice curve effects here and there to make it look like the source material. A few smooth and studded tires to add detail, but overall not that much. The claw, however, is very accurate to how it appears in game and does look good displayed with a figure. I mean, if we look at the scale here, with these two figures next to it, and it's very much in a similar design scale to what it appears as in-game. Now that leads me to my only real complaint about this set, the scale. Now the scale is accurate, but I feel that for this scale the price is very unfair. This is a £20 set, so if we compare it to the other £20 set, the rib, which I don't actually have on hand at the moment, the rib was a lot, lot larger. I mean, if we can, if we compare this with a ten pound set, the drone, you can see there really is not that great a size difference, which is something which is kind of disappointing in my opinion. I kind of wish that Mega had met us halfway with this set and made it retail for maybe fifteen pound, since we don't see sets at a fifteen pound price point as far as I'm aware for the Call of Duty line yet, um, because. At £19, it just feels like something is missing. I don't know what, it just feels like something is. That said, I can see how they would justify it. You get the laptop, which is fairly rare. An RPG, which is, again, a brand new weapon piece, really cool. Only has appeared in two sets so far. And you get a vehicle from Black Ops 2, which is one of the games with the least coverage so far, so it's nice to see more content from it. And you do get a unhelmeted face, which is something which we are always asking for. So I can kind of see how Mega have justified their pricing here. I just feel as if it's a little steep compared to what you actually get. Anyway, that's just my opinion, guys. You're entitled to your opinions. Feel free to leave them in the comments. Do you like this set? Do you dislike this set? What do you want me to review next? So I've been very lucky in terms that... I've been able to pick up a lot of the Summer Wave, a lot more than I originally estimated I'd be able to. So I can actually confirm that the next review, if things go to plan, will be on this beauty here, the APC. So with that said and done guys, this has been your look at the Claw Assault Call of Duty Mega Block set. Please remember to like, favourite and subscribe. And until the next time guys, I hope you guys have a great week.